Ladies and gentlemen, the show will begin in a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the show will begin in a few minutes.
This top secret meeting is very exciting, isn't it? You ready for the biggest job of your life? Whoa, is that it? Can I have one little peek? What's in the box? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's unreal. Totally amazing. <laughs> Sir. Approaching Radio City Music Hall, sir. Yes, that's it. Now do me a favor, sir. When you get out, watch your step, and definitely don't drop that box. Thanks, Benson. We're ready for the show, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome our secret messenger, Jeremy Maxwell, and our master of ceremonies for Samsung Unpacked 2013, Mr. Will Chase. Hey everyone, welcome to Samsung Unpacked 2013. You ready, Jeremy? I'm ready. Let me see inside the box. No. I'll give you a candy bar. You'll see it in a few minutes. First, you have to welcome everyone. Didn't you get a script? Yeah. <clears throat> Jeremy will be back, but first, I want to welcome all of you here in Radio City and all of our friends in Times Square. Yeah. These folks are ready for the show, and I want to welcome everyone streaming live around the globe. Now, what better place than Radio City Music Hall for a show? And I have to admit, uh, it's a little emotional for me, not just because I'm introducing the world to the new amazing Samsung Galaxy, but also uh, because I began my career 20 years ago on this stage as a rockette. Now, I, no, no, I know what you're thinking. Trust me, out of makeup, headdress, and feathers, you wouldn't recognize any of us. Thanks. Tonight, we're going to show you an exciting brand new Samsung product that's been designed to make all of our lives and all of our life tasks that much easier. With the new Samsung Galaxy, you're going to experience life without boundaries, without limitations. To introduce us to the Galaxy, I am thrilled to introduce you to the president and head of IT and mobile communication division, Samsung Electronics, Mr. J.K. Shin. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. In the past several weeks, we have heard an amazing combination of rumor and speculation about what I'm going to unveil tonight. Before you hear about the product itself, I would like to emphasize one thing. We are committed to innovation. We are always listening to learn from people around the world on what kind of progress they really want. And these efforts have taken us to where we are today. And it's the result of what we will show you tonight. We have taken technology and innovation Order to help us get closer to what matters in life, to help us live a richer, simpler, and more fun life. We've imagined the possibilities, explored new directions, and listened to you to understand what a smartphone should provide to us in our lives. Wouldn't it be great? If the technology in our hands could place the person taking a picture in the picture as well, what if we can record the sound while taking pictures? We could smile to look at the baby's adorable pictures listening to their first words. How great a viewing experience would that be? 
wouldn't it be convenient if the smartphone can understand when you want to scroll up and down or even pause, simply just looking away from the screen? Consider touch, then reconsider touch. Imagine touchless interfaces. Instant, effortless, accurate. We imagine the great things can come from this. Think about being able to communicate with your friends around the world without language barrier. Imagine the smartphones in this room linked together without phone signal or internet, pumping out the same song together. That's the world we imagined. We always have the smartphone with us. Could these powerful devices help take care of our health? Help take care of our wellness? We imagined they could. Have we been annoyed by bringing two phones for work and personal use? You don't need to be anymore. We are ready to provide the perfect solution for work and play with the enhanced security. It's Knox. Imagine that you can share the photos or video clips you capture right now immediately with your family at home. And then this content can be safely stored forever in your living room and shared seamlessly on the multiple devices. Wouldn't it be really great? These ideas have been conceived from our observation of real life which is the most important source of our inspiration, just as making life better. It's the most relevant aim for our innovation. What we will show you tonight is the result of all of this. It is the innovation that improves the way people truly live every day and helps them live in the way they aspire to. For each of us, life is journey. What we want is a device that can join us on that journey. A device that enables us to do more. A companion that helps us experience life to the fullest. A life companion for a richer, simpler life. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samsung Galaxy S4. The Galaxy S4 incorporates so many compelling features that were inspired by the people of the world. But with everything that the Samsung Galaxy S4 can do, does it fit into your life with the style? Absolutely, because the Samsung Galaxy S4 is slimmer, yet stronger, less to hold, yet more to see. It is simply amazing. We plan to roll out the Galaxy S4 with the 327 mobile operators in 155 countries, starting from the end of April. Galaxy S4 will be available with the 3G and 4G LTE version. Furthermore, Samsung will support FDD LTE as well as TDLT. We will support cover global LTE networks 
for all frequencies and standards. Samsung Galaxy S4 provides LT roaming globally. In our product and in our global community, we are committed to progress and excellence in innovation. Once you spend time with the Galaxy S4, I'm very confident that you will feel how its innovations make your life richer, simpler, and fuller. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shin. And now I'd like to introduce you to Ryan Biden, Director of Product Marketing from Samsung Telecommunications America. <laughs> Thank you, Will. It's great to be here. Now, when I talk about the new exciting features of the Galaxy S4, Ryan will elaborate. Uh, he's an elaborator. So if I say the new phone looks and feels awesome, he'll say, that's because it's slimmer yet stronger. Just look at it, side by side with the Galaxy S3. The Galaxy S4 is only 136.6 millimeters long by 69.8 millimeters wide. And at a mere 7.9 millimeters, it's mind-blowingly thin. <laughs> and weighs only 130 grams. And yet the screen is now a full five inches. In other words, there's less to hold and more to see. And this is full HD Super AMOLED screen. It's unbelievably sharp. That's a 441 PPI. And we developed a new and innovative molding technology that creates this beautifully unreal polycarbonate material in two stunning colors, black mist and white frost. The finish and craftsmanship really are something to see and feel. And this kryptonite case, polycarbonate, still cool. And it's only, it's a totally new and upgraded user experience that you get from this interface. You can see how great it looks here. I mean, it's got such an incredibly slim, and finely crafted look. You can see how thin it is there. And check out what happens when you hover your finger over the lock screen. This is all part of the new user experience upgrade and a new visual effects engine. It's so much more alive than ever before. And when you land at this beautifully laid out home screen, the on the home screen. Nice, I love the layout, the photo gallery. It's got a real hip magazine look and feel to it. Yeah, we've really spent a lot of time perfecting this look and feel. But let's not forget what's under the hood, starting with connectivity and the fact that this is set to go out as a 4G LTE device. To be clear, that's category three, 100 MPS uh, downlink and 50 Mbps uplink up to hexaband. I'm probably the only one in the room who doesn't know what that means. Uh, so what that means is the Galaxy S4 will support downloads at 100 megabits per second and uploads at 50 megabits per second. Go ahead. Thank you. As Mr. Shin mentioned before, we'll launch this phone with TD and FDD dual mode, LD, uh, LTE, a little bit later this year. And it supports Wi-Fi, A, B, G, N, and AC, and also Bluetooth 4.0. We've also got... Uh, Plug. <laughs> We've also got an infrared LED so our remote control function, so users can control their TVs with the Galaxy S4 and enjoy Samsung Watch On, which gives you access to TV programming as well as aggregated video on demand services. Um, while we're here, let's talk about the cameras. Yes. 
The main camera on the back is 13 megapixel, and the front facing is two. So all of your shots, shots will be sharp, colorful, and true to life. And we've got some great features on the camera that we're gonna get into in a moment. Uh, as for memory and storage, the Galaxy S4 will ship with two gigs of LPDDR3 RAM. It's got 16 gigs, gigabytes of storage built in with options for 32 and 64. And of course, a micro SD slot that will give you space for up to 64 gigs more. And then of course, there's an array of sensors, eight sensors in total, including standard ones like those you see behind me. Plus two new ones, infrared gesture and temperature. and humidity. It's a lot of sensors. Uh, we wanted to give users a device that will really understand what's going on around them and give them useful information that can enrich and fulfill their lives. Well, now all that gadgetry has got to use up a lot of power. We're constantly upgrading the operating system to find efficiencies. But the main thing we did to make sure that you can make it through your day is build the Galaxy S4 around a 2600 milliamp hour battery. And it's removable, so there's no shortage of power. Great news. Now, now, all this unique innovation deserves a unique launch. So this presentation is going to be a little bit different than what you're all used to because we're in the greatest theater in New York, Radio City Music Hall. Come on. some of Broadway's best performers. So to kick things off, let's... ...go to our first scene, which takes place at the Upper West Side Elementary School. Stacy twirling her little heart out, but her dad doesn't have a Galaxy S4, so he doesn't have a 13 megapixel camera, which means he can't take the kind of awesome pictures and video of his daughter that he could with the S4. Are you kidding? No. Dad, tell me that's not true. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. I'll get the Galaxy S4 after the presentation. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, Patrick does have an S4, so he can take amazing shots of his son Jeremy as he gets ready for his first tap dance recital. You're up next, honey. <laughs> Boy, am I nervous. Oh, you're going to do just fine. I want to get some backstage footage. Now, if you're like me, you have 800 pictures of your mom and like two of your dad, because dad always took the pictures. Our family videos look like a movie about a single mother. Well, all that's about to change. With the new dual camera feature, not only can Patrick get great pictures and video of little Jeremy, who's so nervous he could throw up, but Patrick can also be in the video. We're so excited. It's Jeremy's first tap dance recital. Mm, and that would mean a lot to Patrick if that was really his wife and kid and his name was really Patrick. Ryan, tell us about the dual camera record function while Jeremy tries to do his laces up and keep his lunch down. This is definitely a very cool and very unique feature. Pretty much every smartphone out there today has two cameras, the main camera on the back that also shoots video, and the front-facing camera that you can use to take pictures of yourself. With the Galaxy S4, Patrick can shoot video with both at the same time. He can capture the scene he's looking at while also inserting himself in it. <laughs> and the dual camera mode can be turned on and off by clicking a button on the screen. Then, when viewed, the video will switch from the full screen video taken with the main camera to the dual screen taken with both. That way, you can be in the whole video if you want to, or pop in and out. A really great feature. Now, let's rejoin our fake family for the demonstration. Let's take a nice picture for Grandma to frame. Oh, I want you in the picture. I will be. Will? Oh, a dual camera also works with photos. See? And Patrick can move and locate the front camera photo anywhere he wants to just deciding on a template. Before he takes the shot, Patrick can choose from stamp, instant pick, heart shape, split view, <laughs> oval blur, fisheye. I want fisheye. Fisheye it is. 
With the sound in shot feature, you have two options for adding sound to your pictures, before pressing the shutter or after. Hi, Grandma. It's Jeremy's first recital. Wish you were here. Oh, this will be a great backstage photo. Hi, Grandma. It's Jeremy's first recital. Wish you were here. Uh, wait, so, Ryan, that means you could have a picture of me, and when you looked at it, hear your voice saying how thrilling it is for you to be on stage with me. Right. It's like adding another dimension of detail to the visual memory you've created. Helps you remember things in better detail, and helps you keep special moments even closer to you. <laughs> Jeremy, you're up next. We're on. It's you. Come on. Oh, first Come on. Land, honey. ready to start taking lessons. Yeah. <laughs> Taught him everything he knows. Aww. Go away. Wow. And wait till you see what his dad captured with drama shot. First shots are really popular. In some cases, you can take up to 30 frames in one shot, but then you have to go through them, choose the best one. With our drama shot feature, the Galaxy S4 can take more than 100 shots in four seconds, and then select some to be shown in the finished picture <laughs> as a collage on one frame. Very cool. Another great feature when it comes to picture taking is a racer. Watch what happens if someone happens to walk through your beautiful picture. With one click, you speed up the shutter and take multiple pictures. Then the Galaxy S4 creates a composite, erasing people or unnecessary objects so you get a nice, clean shot. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Wait, 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 wait. So, so, so theoretically, if I was taking a picture of my wife and her mother entered the shot, I could get rid of her? Yes. But I can only erase her from the picture, not from my house, right? Right. Okay. But we set up features that help you grab those shots and easily share them through your favorite social media, of course. Another cool feature, especially when you're looking through photos, is air view. Oh, yes. Uh, like with the S Pen on the Galaxy Note 2, where you get a quick preview by hovering the pen over the screen. Exactly. Well, now with the Galaxy S4, you can do the same thing using just your finger. Wait, any finger. Pick your favorite. Great, okay, uh, in our next scene, we're going to meet two guys pretending to backpack through Asia and South America. Oh, can I get a little Shanghai up here? his way around Shanghai. Excuse me. Do you know where I can get the bus to the Shanghai Museum? But the old guy doesn't speak English. And John doesn't speak Chinese. Hang on. But that's not going to be a problem for him, not with the new S translator feature. Check it out. Do you know where I can get the bus to the Shanghai Museum? Go upstairs and you'll see the bus stop. Take the number 25 bus. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be down in my dressing room. Yeah. I've been spitzing up here. All right. I, I love how that works. John typed his question out in English and the Galaxy S4 spoke it in Chinese. Then the old guy answered in Chinese, and the S4 typed it out in English. That's right. The S Translator is a powerful app that understands nine languages, ten if you include American English and English with a British accent, and the Galaxy S4 supports both text-to-speech and speech-to-text. So if John was in Paris... Ah! 
Ceci bon. If he was in Munich, it would be a wunderbar. Venice? No importa dove tu vada, sariti in grado di comunicare. Impressive. Eh, grazie. The Galaxy S4 also knows French, German, Italian, Latin American Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and Brazilian Portuguese. What about Pig Latin? Not yet. Great. But with the Optical Reader app, the Galaxy S4 can even translate written words, like a menu, book, or magazine. And the Galaxy S4 has more than 3,000 embedded useful sentences categorized by airport, travel, restaurants, etc. So you'll still be able to communicate even if you don't have a network connection. You've got, You've got a mail, mail from Jeff. Jeff. Hey, I just got an email. It's from my buddy Jeff in Rio. Jeff is backpacking through Brazil. And he wrote to me in Brazilian. Haha, <laughs> that'd be Portuguese, John. Right. <laughs> Jeff's been studying there for years. And John can translate the Portuguese instantly because the S translator is deeply integrated into programs like ChatOn and the Samsung email and messaging app. Can't wait to see you in Paris. Cool, we're gonna meet up in Paris. So, while John goes off and waits for his next entrance, let's talk about the Adapt Display feature. With Adapt Display, it doesn't matter where you are. The screen automatically adjusts brightness, saturation, and contrast depending on what's being viewed. Uh, what if I'm watching a movie then switch to playing a game? No problem. And what if I'm reading an email and then play a game and then watch a video? Adapt, display, adjust. What if the video is about a five-legged cat? Doesn't matter what it's about. So it doesn't judge. Mm, no. The adapt display just makes whatever you're looking at look better, so it's more comfortable for your eyes. This is made possible because of the advanced hardware and Super AMOLED screen, which is superior to LCD displays. It's the optimum viewing experience. There's the five-legged cat! And it's very cute, but we're going to move on to the story album feature. Because while John took the bus to the museum, his buddy Jeff took some more beautiful pictures in Rio. Of Anna. Uh. Hola, Jeff! Hola, Anna! <laughs> Jeff's taken hundreds of pictures all over Brazil. But with the story album feature, finding them and turning them into albums is going to be easy because the story album features an automatic album creating function. When you take photos in the same environment or on the same date, you get a message on your status bar saying you can create a story album. You just choose a cover and name for your album and then a template for the layout and one for a cover. And if I set up New York as my home city and go to Rio de Janeiro, the <laughs> S4 recommends I create a story album because it knows I'm traveling. Dude, the thing is so smart. And it's a snap to upload the pages to Facebook. I have uh, one album of Anna at the lake. I have uh, another album of Anna in the market. I have uh, another album of Anna at the falls. I'm sensing a theme. Yeah, dude, they're all pictures of Brazil. Okay. <laughs> I also have lots of video, too. And if Jeff wants to, he can add tags to the photos, such as uh, a note on the weather, location, people. Maybe just more info on Anna. Why not? So once Jeff has made these albums, can it get hard copies? Absolutely. In partnership with Blurb, users can order or send hard copy albums to 70 countries, including the U.S., right from within the application. Price will be $10 to $30 for a 20-page album, including shipping and handling. And Story Album supports both portrait view and landscape, with landscape being an exact preview of the hard copy album. So I could send a beautifully bound photo album to Anna at home. I think she'd like that. I'm home. I like this. Hmm, I knew it. Next, Jeff and John met up at the airport in Paris. Dude, here, come here, check out my pics. Eh? Not only are they able to share their pictures and videos with each other, but also with their families back home through our new HomeSync device, which we introduced at Mobile World Congress. Just connected to the TV, we're good to go. Oh, being able to see all of his photos as soon as he takes them makes it easier having Jeff away. Being able to use my car makes it easier for him to be away. <laughs> I love these pictures of Brazil. Where do you see Brazil? Behind Anna. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Jeff and John ran to catch their flight because it was the best way to get them off stage. Go. And after Jeff's family spent the next 18 hours looking at pictures of Anna, they decided to go back to their dressing room. 
Brian? Oh. HomeSync is a personal cloud device that you keep in your home. It has a terabyte of storage capacity, so you can store tons of your own photos and videos and share them with your family and friends. A terabyte is a lot, way more than what you get from online providers that you have to pay for. And within the HomeSync device, you can have as many as eight users, and each can have their own personal or shared storage. And you can easily connect it with a Galaxy S4 via NFC with just the tap, view your content. In fact, you can connect almost any smartphone, TV, tablet, or PC. And the content played on TV can also be mirrored on the screen of the Galaxy S4 in full HD. Perfect for when you're away from home and want to look something up in the family cloud. Exactly. Essentially, it functions as a sort of hub for your life and memories. And speaking of my life, I've been showing you all how great the Galaxy S4 is for the, the common everyman, but what about the life of a, a New York actor? May I have my car, please? What? Space is tight in Manhattan. That's how I have to park. Once I'm in my car, that's when S-Voice Drive takes over. Tell them about it, Ryan. S-Voice Drive was developed for user safety while driving. And a simpler, customized version of the S-Voice interface has been developed only for S-Voice Drive to provide you with a more intuitive look and feel. It's got bigger font sizes and more text-to-speech services so the user isn't distracted while driving. Hmm. Just pair it with your car's Bluetooth, and you'll automatically get the version of S-Voice optimized for you. You've got a call from Justin. Oh, that's my manager. Answer. Justin? Well, baby, how's it hanging? <laughs> Good, what's up? I, I got you the Samsung gig. You're going to be the MC, baby. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm in the middle of it right now. Oh, hey, hey, what, while I have you on the phone. No, you got a meeting for me? I, I want to get the new Samsung Galaxy S4. They're not going to give you a free phone, Justin. <laughs> Not asking for one, but I thought maybe you could find out if I can transfer all from my old phone to the new Galaxy S4, all my information. You want me to stop the entire presentation just so you can ask if you can transfer everything from your phone to the Galaxy S4? And my wife's. And your wife's. <laughs> Ryan, can you help me out here? Yes. You can transfer from almost any phone with any operating system to the Galaxy S4. Simple, fast, and easy. All Justin has to do is download and install the Smart Switch program on his PC, connect his old smartphone, and back up everything he wants to the computer. Then, he connects his new Galaxy S4 to the PC and transfers everything to that. Easy. Uh, what about if now I... Now hang up, Justin. He, he drives, drives me crazy. crazy. <laughs> now I don't know where I'm going. I'm totally lost. That's okay. With the new Galaxy S4, you don't need a navigation system. It's all installed right there on the device. You're killing me. Get me to Soho. And S-Voice gives you hands-free access to services that drivers frequently need, such as... Uh, make a double latte? No. But it will make calls, receive messages, find music, the weather. So no more texting while steering with your knees? Not that I've ever done that. Well, safety is a big concern for us because we know that people always have that strong urge to check their messages <laughs> as soon as they come in and respond an instant later. No self-control. New message from Steve. My agent. Would you like to read out, reply, call, forward, or cancel? The guy never stops working, always in meetings. I don't think he ever leaves the office. Read out. In the middle of a meeting with Steven Spielberg, yes. your name came up twice. Would you like to reply, call, forward, read again or cancel? <laughs> read again. In the middle of a meeting with Steven Spielberg, your name came up twice. Would you like to reply, call, forward? Cancel. What the heck, Steve? I thought you were in your office. And I thought you were not supposed to be able to see me. It's amazing I have a career. While you're driving, the voice recognition feature makes it possible for the Galaxy S4 to pretty much do everything for you including respond to a message. Can it be my agent? Yeah, I heard that. I hope so. The Galaxy S4 can't be your agent, Will, but it can act like a personal assistant. And it won't take 5% of my money. 15, 7, 12, 10, done. But only because you're my nephew. <clears throat> oh, oh, answer.
Answer. Answer. Hi, Vivian. Will, darling. <laughs> Steve told me you got the Samsung gig at Radio City. I'm on my way over. What time does it start? I'm in the middle of it. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. I just got all dressed up. I'm even wearing my opera gloves. Whoa. How can you work your phone with gloves on? Sweetheart, the S4 even works when I'm wearing gloves. See? Wow. Honey, if you're doing the presentation, you really should know that. <gasps> maybe I should be doing the presentation. That's enough, Vivian. Where were we? Uh, Vivian was suggesting that maybe she should be doing the presentation. You don't have to elaborate on everything, Ryan. Oh, I know. So, once I get home after a tiring day of auditions, I like to kick back, relax, and uh, watch a little TV. This is a great time to talk about the awesome Samsung Hub. Yes, it is, Ryan. Roll video. The Galaxy S4 takes all of the fabulous hubs, videos, books, games, music, and learning, and puts them in one marvelous place where you can search and purchase all of the content you're looking for. They call it the Samsung Hub, and it comes with a sensational magazine interface. Very easy to use. Nicely done, Vivian. Oh, thanks, Ryan. If you need me, I'll be in Will's dressing room. Mm. Now I want to talk about the Knox feature. Uh, we introduced this at Mobile World Congress, and the Galaxy S4 will be the first device that Knox is going to ship on. Keep in mind, Knox is designed for business and enterprise users. And what it does is lock your device down and keep it safe from malicious applications. It's built on top of security-enhanced Android, developed by the U.S. government. So it meets that high-level security standard. Here's the best part. Knox separates your phone into a personal space and a workspace. So it's like having two phones in one. Your company can have a relationship with the business side for exchanging files, syncing, whatever, and have no access to the personal space on your Galaxy S4. Security for the corporate IT manager, Privacy for you. No, no, I get it. So if I had a son. Hey, Jeremy. What's up, Mr. Chase? You're going to play my son. Do I have to? Come on, you played the Samsung Messenger and the tap dancing kid. Those were cool. Being my kid would be cool. Yeah, right. Go. So if my adorable and devoted son, Jeremy, called me from our beautiful home on Long Island. Hey, Dad, I need money. That's one part of my phone. And if I wasn't an actor and had to get a real job, which is a possibility given my agent, I might get an email from my boss. You really let us down on that quarterly report, Will. That's another part of my phone. Exactly. Files, emails, photos. Knox keeps all of your business things separate and safe. Cool. Okay, okay, enough about my life now to help show you some more really great new features. We got one more scene for you. Let's say hello to Jenny and her girlfriends at home in Miami! Ah! Jenny is getting married in a few weeks. Check out the ring! Very nice. My best girlfriends are throwing me a party. Oh. Hey! Hey, hey, ladies! Do you want to come? Sure. Oh, here you go. Okay. Okay. Found a waiter! Oh, oh, oh. We're trying to find the perfect song for your wedding. Oh. And with the new and improved group play feature... That wait, 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 what are you doing here, Vivian? I'm not Vivian anymore, see? No gloves. I'm Sheila now, and I was invited. Okay, but no more interrupting. With the new and improved group play that's loaded onto the Galaxy S4, you can use the share music feature to play music through as many as eight Galaxy S4 devices, even without an internet connection. That's right. Group play can turn any group into one large sound system, even a five-channel surround system. One device acts as the left speaker, one as the right, another as the center, another as the left surround, and so on. Oh, I found it. Here, let's listen. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. I love it. Look at that.
that. That's what happens when all your bridesmaids are in Broadway shows. Awesome feature. And you know, even if you only have two phones, you can still set up a great sounding two channel system. Plus, you can adjust the volume of each device. And you can start up the music again right from where the group play leader stopped. And one of the coolest things is that now group play supports multiplayer games. And not only does group play let you share okay. music. Okay, <clears throat> never mind. And not only does group play let you share music, it also allows you to share photos with the share pictures feature. Who are you? I'm Adam. Oh, oh. he's Jenny's fiance. You should know that, Will. And here's something really cool, the new chat on feature. It's been updated to include video calling for up to three people. And with the new S4, you can even have a dual video call. So if Adam was playing golf, doesn't play golf. Maybe he does now. Hey, Jen, just played an awesome game of golf. 